hey hi guys welcome to pcf okay. so in our last video so we have seen like uh, so what is the procedure so what is stored procedure and how to create the stored procedure how to execute the procedure and what are the input and output parameters we have seen so in this video we are going to discuss so the advantage of stored procedure okay what are the advantages okay so we have four advantages we have so execution plan reduce the network traffic and code uh, reusability and uh, better maintainability and better security so we have four uh, advantage of using stored procedure okay we'll go one by one and then we'll see okay what is execution plan okay so what is execution plan execution plan So execution plan means like suppose uh, so I will give a, a real a real life example like suppose uh, you are going uh, from um, so you are you are planning to go one place to another place so so you will see what is the best way to reach and what is the uh, better way uh, we can reach from there to here to there the source to destination the same way. So the same way stored procedure also will see like the best way and then it will cache that plan. Okay, it will cache the plan whenever you will go to the same place. So it will use that uh, execution plan again. Okay, it will execution plan again. Okay, so but uh, even uh, ad hoc queries also ad hoc queries means like without stored procedure, we can't use that uh, uh, execution plan means yes, nowadays even ad hoc queries also using their execution plan, but if you change slight uh, changes, like uh, so, if I create this stored procedure, suppose so it's a very uh, simple stored procedure I'm creating. So uh, if you are new to stored procedure, so I have uh, I've explained in our previous videos uh, stored procedure in basic two like uh, input parameter and output parameter. Okay, I strongly recommend to watch that videos if you haven't uh, if you know if you don't know that stored procedure and all. So just I'm creating very simple stored procedure like. Uh, what happened? Sorry, I didn't select properly. So this is a very simple stored procedure. Like so, I'm getting employee uh, details by providing the ID. Okay, uh, employee. Uh, sorry. Uh, so like whenever you provide ID is equal to, so you will get the. Uh, so who is the employee? And whenever ID is equal to four, so who is the employee? So like that we are getting right. So. <clears throat> So, but uh, what I'm saying, okay, when we use uh, stored procedure, like, so suppose um, these days, okay, even ad hoc queries also, whenever uh, the, um, to, 2012 onwards, even ad hoc queries also using the execution plan. But the thing is, if you change slight changes, like uh, if you use the space or something, uh, any changes in the code, so it will again uh, go with the new execution plan. It will not use the existed execution plan, okay? So, but in the stored procedure, if you change any parameter, okay, any parameter, or uh, if you uh, if you cannot change anything uh, in the code, right? So, but stored procedure will use the a cache, okay, whatever the execution plan is there that will put in the cache and then it will reuse that execution plan. That is the best way so that uh, uh, stored procedures will uh, execute fast compared to ad hoc queries. Why? Because it's used the execution plan, okay. So, but uh, normal queries, if you change slight changes, anything in the query, so again, it will go with the new execution plan. Okay, that is the one thing, one advantage, okay? Execution will have, um, so stored procedure will have the execution plan in a cache. So again, whenever uh, you are using the query, so it will use the same execution plan and then it will execute fast, okay? That is the uh, one advantage. And the second advantage is reduce the network traffic, okay? How it will reduce the network topics. Okay. In so here we are seeing only one, two lines of code in the uh, stored procedure. But in real time, so it may be like uh, the max stored procedure may have thousands of lines, like 500, 2000, or 3000 lines of code. Mm -hmm. So if without uh, writing stored procedure, if you send that code to client uh, tools, okay, so it may cause the network topic. But uh, uh, when you create the stored procedure in a three lines of code, three three thousands of lines of code, and in a creating a stored procedure, if you uh, send this process procedure name and then parameters, okay, that is one line of code. Okay, it's become three lines of code becomes to be a one lines of code. Thousands of lines of uh, code will become a okay single line of code. So that that will also reduce the network traffic. And third one is a 
code uh, reusability and better maintainability suppose your stored procedure is using several applications like dotnet and some other some other applications are using okay and uh, suppose there is a bug in the stored procedure or else uh, you are planning to change the logic in the stored procedure okay if you change it at one place okay instead of changing an all application if you change it one place okay it's a better maintainability right okay better maintainability and better reusability okay you can reuse the code again and again and also better maintainability okay and better security also like suppose okay even uh, better security even uh, view also we can uh, provide like suppose uh, it employees data okay without giving underlying table access okay suppose you have a uh, it hr and um, finance all data in one table okay uh, but you want to provide the access to uh, individual persons okay without giving underlying access okay underlying table access you can provide the access okay that by, by using views also we can do that but even that is also one of the advantage by using store procedure okay these are the advantages we can um, okay um, we can have in a store procedure okay so but in our next class we'll see so when to use uh, views and when to use functions when to go with the stored procedures and all okay thank you thank you so much case okay yeah hope you understand please uh, share and subscribe for more videos case okay